On this episode of the Twin Falls Travelcast, discover the stars, planets, and everything in between on a visit to the Herod Center for Arts and Sciences. We'll show you how you can see the night sky and travel to distant galaxies. And we'll show you some very down-to-earth creatures, all available for the admission price of absolutely free. It's all right now on the Twin Falls Travelcast. Norman Herrett once said, everyone in their life should have at least one opportunity to look at the moon up close for at least five minutes. And there's no better place to do that than the observatory that bears his name. Herrett, a devoted educator and amateur astronomer, built his first telescope in 1955. It was the first of more than 50 he constructed over his lifetime. His curiosity about the things that float beyond planet Earth has become a legacy of learning for all to enjoy. Visitors to the Herrett Center for Arts and Science in Twin Falls are greeted by sculptures both playfully real and those which require some analysis and interpretation. But it's the universal art of space that many come here to enjoy, thanks to a high-powered telescope inside. The flip of a switch opens the roof of the Herrett Center Observatory Dome, allowing visitors to look beyond the limit of the sky into the limitless stars and planets that dot our solar system and those beyond. Observatory Planetarium operator, Chris Anderson. It's really easy to get caught up in our, in our relatively tiny lives here on this little rock we call the Earth. And it really gives you a sense of the vastness of the universe and how small a part of it we are, uh, which for some people is humbling and for some people is exhilarating and for some people it's depressing, but, uh, <laughs> but we just love to be able to show you what an incredible universe we have out there and we can do it from right here within Twin Falls. You'd be amazed what we can show you here. We can show you light from a quasar that's been traveling through the universe for almost two billion years. So that's pretty astounding, I think. The Herrett Center hosts a star party the second Saturday of each month, year round. Inside the Centennial Observatory, people from all over the world line up for a chance to look through the 24-inch Ritchie Cretien Reflector a powerful telescope providing incredible views of planets you might otherwise only see in books or on the internet. The star parties are designed to satisfy both casual observers and those who are serious about stargazing. As the crowd thins out, leaving the hardcore astronomy buffs, Anderson brings out special equipment that opens the window to some of the most incredible events happening in space. We can take one of our little sensitive video cameras and move it from our guide scope onto the main telescope and then boy you can really see some amazingly uh, distant things that, the, that your eye wouldn't be able to see through the telescope. Anderson became passionate about space when he was a small child with a brand new telescope. He pointed it at Saturn, saw the famous rings, and was hooked for life. Today, at the Herrett Center Centennial Observatory, he's able to relive that moment by giving kids a much more incredible view of the ringed planet. When you can show a kid a picture, an image of Saturn that looks as good as a, as a picture in a, in a book, uh, sometimes to the point where they say, that can't be real, can it? Uh, that's pretty exciting for me and for them. An optical periscope even allows small children and people confined to wheelchairs the ability to scan the night sky. In fact, this telescope is one of the most accessible to those with limited mobility in the entire world. It even allows people to take a live tour of the moon's surface, no matter who they are. A fact that would make Norman Herrett, the man who said everyone should get a close-up view of the moon, very proud. Monthly star parties are just the beginning of the space exploration offered in this building located on the campus of the College of Southern Idaho. The Herrett Center is also home to the Faulkner Planetarium, the largest in the state and the second largest in the Pacific Northwest. A state-of-the-art digital graphics projection system transports visitors into space from the comfort of a 144-seat auditorium. Operator Rick Greenewald says it's the perfect place for families to be entertained and educated. Some of our programs have interactive uh, elements to them, including live sky tours where we take the audience on a tour of the sky for that night, one hour after sunset, so mom and dad can go out with the kids and help them find those constellations or the planets later on in the evening. There's one currently that we're running it has the ability for people to vote on their destination. The kids really like that. But the Faulkner Planetarium goes a step or two beyond the standard stars projected on the ceiling. 
A broad schedule of programs covers natural wonders, ranging from exploring the surface of Mars to the origins of the universe and how life was formed on planet Earth. Or, if you're in the mood for something less cerebral, you might want to check out one of the rock and roll laser light shows. Original Pink Floyd productions, Led Zeppelin, um, we're currently working on an alternative rock show. So, you know, we do a whole lot of different things here inside the theater, different types of programming, and maybe that's the great thing about it, is that there's almost something for everybody. This is a ball python. It's an uh, uh, African python. The Herod Center offers educational activities as lofty as the far reaches of space, but some are much more down to earth. In fact, some crawl on their bellies as close to the earth as possible. Nick Peterson is the curator of live animals at the Raymond Gallery, also part of the Herod Center. You don't really get to see uh, live animals up close and personal. I mean, at least the variety of snakes and lizards that we have here. Um, it's a great place to bring out-of-town visitors, small kids, grandparents, everybody loves it. And the kids who visit the Raymond Gallery don't seem to mind letting snakes and lizards crawl all over them in the name of education. In fact, many who visit here overcome their fears about snakes. So many uh, people that come in here that say they're afraid of snakes and, and they reach out and touch it with a finger and before the evening's over they're holding them and saying, gee, I want one of these. Just around the corner, workers are piecing together the petrified bones of a Colombian mammoth that joins artifacts and art from Idaho and beyond, rounding out a journey across the universe that will cost your family nothing to see. That's right, it's free, thanks to Norman Herrett. Exhibit manager, Joey Heck. He wanted children to be able to explore the sciences and he wanted them to be able to do it for free. He didn't want to make it um, elitist. Really, there's nothing like this in Idaho. Norman Herrett, the man who wanted everyone to witness firsthand the wonders of this world and worlds beyond. Spend the day or the evening at the Herrett Center for free stargazing, snake handling, and historic artifacts and artwork. Remember to book your travel to the Twin Falls area at TwinFallsChamber.com, and you can also subscribe to the Travelcast to see all of the episodes and plan your multi-day trip by using iTunes. Just search the music store for the Twin Falls Travelcast or visit TwinFallsChamber.com for the links. We'll see you on the next Twin Falls Travelcast.